Color palettes are a quick, easy, and efficient way to texture or color low poly models. They can make for quick iteration of colors as well as potentially low use of memory, and they can reduce the overall size of your project, which can be very important for mobile developers. So in this video, I want to show you a free tool that will allow you to create and modify color palettes all inside of Unity. Now you're still going to need a tool like Blender to unwrap your model, but the tool Click to Color will let you create and modify your colors from a simple editor window in real time. If you don't know how to unwrap a model for use with a color palette, check out my earlier video on color palettes and you can simply ignore the parts about GIMP. I'll put a link to that video in the video description below. To get started, Click to Color can be found under the Tools menu in Unity once you've imported it into your project. From there, you can create a new color palette choosing the grid size, image resolution, file name, and save location. With the texture created, you can edit any of the colors using the color fields. When you're done creating the color palette, it can be applied to the material for your model. Personally, I like to drop it into the albedo channel, turn off the smoothness, and drop the color panel into the emission channel as well to help with overly dark shadows. Now these colors are a bit crazy since they were random, so let's go back to a texture that looks a little bit better. This other color palette was previously created with Click to Color, so I can edit it by simply dragging and dropping the texture into the texture slot. You can see that the colors all pop up in the corresponding color fields. I can also edit the colors just like before. If I want to try something a little crazy like blue sand, I can save that as a revision. Then I can try something else like maybe pink sand or red trees, and I can save that as a revision. I can then go back and forth between those revisions by pressing the load revision and see which I like better. Or if I don't like any of the changes, I can press revert to original to reload the colors from when the texture was loaded into click to color. But do note that the revision saved in the editor window will not save when going into play mode or when closing Unity. If you want to get around that, you can save a duplicate to your project files by clicking the save duplicate button just below the texture. This creates a new asset which will persist after play mode and when closing Unity. As a side note, it's possible that Click to Color can edit color palettes created in other tools such as GIMP, but that wasn't the intended use, so your results may vary. If this all looks useful to you, you can download the latest version of Click to Color in the link in the video description below or on the Unity Asset Store, assuming they'll accept the tool. So there you go, a tool to help you create and edit color palettes in Unity. Pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty simple. So until next time, happy game designing.